three, three, two, two one. one. Okay, the two and one were in sync. <laughs> all right, yep, that's what. That's all that matters. Fuck. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure. I'll fuck. I'll fucking figure it out. Or you'll just fuck uh, it up. Oh god, I didn't press record. <laughs> Boo! And I did. I did ah! press record. <laughs> I'm just scaring you. <laughs> The first <laughs> jump scare of tonight. The first, the first jump scare of tonight's Serving Pleasure podcast. Ooh. Can we insert I'm, an uh, organ sound? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I, I don't have an organ. But it's just so. take me out to the ball game. Serving Pleasure podcast. You know, you know what? Let's 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 just record that as the intro. I'll I'll play "Take Me Out to the Ball Game" on my spooky organ, and you can do the intro. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Welcome to the podcast of podcasts. It's serving pleasure podcast. Happy Halloween! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> this is the podcast where we talk about shit that you don't want to listen to and just talk to each other about trashy romance novels. Mm-hmm. I'm Ethan Jesse. Uh, that's me. I'm Ethan. And I'm Wesley Corpola. And uh, tonight we're going to be doing something special. We're changing up the format. We're just going to look at a couple of scary stories that I compiled and want to show uh, our young friend Wesley. And then, you know, just have a chat about, you know, what really is the Halloween spirit? And how does that pertain to what we do here? It will get controversial. It will get very, very controversial. (laughs) So, Wesley, what I want to start off with is just telling you the kinds of fan fiction that I went out in search of this All Hallows' Eve. Or is it Old Hallows' Eve? I think it's... All Hallows? Um, I think it's Hallows... I think it's Hallows' Eve. I'll splice in the correct answer if you say both. <laughs> Just have like a robotic recording of <laughs> All Hallows Eve. <laughs> Old Hallows Eve. Eve. Alright, All right, cool. cool. Those are both ready to go when I need them. <laughs> so, Wesley, Wesley, when you, you think, think of sexy Halloween, what comes to mind? Um, a uh, sexy Jay Leno costume. First thing <laughs> comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, busty. <laughs> Jay, Jay Delano is Popeye, right? Yeah. <laughs> same They're person. The same person. Uh, okay. Um, sexy Jay No, but like for real, like, when you like think a, about what's been... Like a nurse, like a sexy nurse costume, right? Okay. Um, Maybe that sex scene in Young Frankenstein. Ooh. Young Gene. I Did I lose you? Frankenstein. No, I'm still here. Did you lose me? Did I press the, I press fucking, the fucking mute button again? I, again? I swear to God. God. Am I back? No. Now I should, I should still be here. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I see you. God, you see me, but you can't hear me? No, I can hear you. Why are you fucking with me? No, I can see and hear you. You just, were like, your your screen just went out for a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, yours did that too. So the reason that I'm freaking out right now is because the last time Wesley and I tried to record a podcast from remote locations, I kept fucking sitting on my headphones mute button, and we just lost the episode because it was completely worthless. There was nothing there to salvage. <laughs> that, that episode was so good. It was. My problem was... I forgot to send you the actual sound file because I'm stupid. I still have it. It's it's not worth. It would take it's, like and two it, hours to edit, and it was only thirty minutes. <laughs> it really was. The content isn't worth it. All right. Uh. So hey, listener out there, if you want us to re-upload our recording of Brokeback Washington from July, just contact us in any way. Twitter, Facebook, call me, text me. You want? You probably have my phone number. I'm not fucking listing my phone number right now. But... Send us, send us a letter in the mail, or a package, yeah, Wesley's... or a package in the mail with a letter inside the package. Ooh, Wesley, if you'd like to give the nice listeners your address, we'll get to it. Um, <laughs> uh, it's uh, look. Look up, just go online and look up where Oprah Winfrey uh, has her production, uh, her production uh, group, and it's the send same address. 
Send your package to Oprah. She'll we'll she'll it. forward it to me. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So when you think of sexy Halloween, you tend to think of like what, a nurse. nurses. Yeah. Jay Leno. Jay cats. Leno. Mm-hmm. I was thinking like classic vampires and werewolves, thanks to uh, Twilight and this oh, post Twilight yeah. world we mm-hmm. live in. So yeah. I think that's that's like the over representation of stuff. So I wanted to like get into the nitty gritty. Who's who's not represented? Like what 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 supernatural creatures can I tap into that I can make sexy? So that's a common Wesley, that's a common thought. Yeah, the first one that I wanted to get into is you know, uh, the slime. So yeah, you know, the living slime. So Wesley, if you could go ahead and open up your link that says, can God squirt slime out of his ear uh, that I sent to you on Facebook? Yes. And uh, you you can go ahead and read that. Uh, this is by MemeVentureTime123 on fanfiction.net. Uh, and let me know if there's uh, anything that you'd want to check out on this. <laughs> Wesley, go ahead and, uh, is there any excerpt that really pops out to you? Uh, the major one that's <laughs> in all caps, uh, uh, reads, uh, bloody fucking yes. <laughs> you can't. Oh, hold on. Pause. Hey, Mom, what's up? Uh, cool. Looks, Looks like, like I could get an audition for APB, APB in Chicago. Chicago. Oh wow! Congrats. Uh, now I sent you, I, I sent you two stories, stories about slimes. About slimes if you would, you would, like, would like to read the other one, or you could just give me your general, general opinions on how you feel about sexy slime. Uh, sexy slime. Um, you know I'm iffy on it, mainly because when I think of slime, my mind wanders, like many, to Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards, and oh. I like. You know, Jack Black is sexy and all, but, you know, the slime traditionally, what's funny about it is when the slime's poured on Jack Black. He just looks so sexy. He doesn't look so sexy anymore. He He doesn't doesn't look look so sexy? sexy? You think that that takes takes away from from Jack Black's sexy sexy factor? factor? Yeah, and that's kind of the joke. The kids are laughing like, I'm, (laughs) ha, 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 I don't (laughs) find him that attractive anymore. (laughs) It's, it's, it's really taken, taken away, away from Jack Black's, Black's sex appeal. <laughs> like, I, I, I want... No, I wanted to have... <laughs> <laughs> little Mikey in the front row, he's eight years old, he says, you know what? He, he walked into the Kids' Choice Awards and he said, I want to have sex with Jack Black. As soon as he got as soon as he got covered in slime, uh-uh. <laughs> no. The slime's doing it. He's out. Mikey put his, put his Dunkin' Yo-Yo in his pocket and he went home. So, I mean, it's, um, uh, we got, uh, Bailey Schultz here now, who, uh, Oh, wow, well, look, look at that. that. Yeah, my co-host of, uh, Exotic, exotic Erotic. Erotic. Yeah, Exotic, that's hey. the title of my podcast. Say when was your last episode? What? When was your last episode? Oh, August. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Uh, isn't she clever (laughs) she must have one of those uh 1000 jokes in a book joke book or something like that you know she's paging through that she was she was flipping through it before she walked in (laughs) she's like this is recording i need to have a joke ready (laughs) And she, and she had, had a zinger, zinger let, me let me tell you that. that. We might as well just include a laugh track after that, for, because our audience will be laugh, but... Do you, oh wait, I think we should record a laugh track in advance that I can insert there. Alright, ready? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was just... A... <laughs> you know what? You have a good laugh, and then it's over. <laughs> and it's just like reflective. I'm like, you know, that was good. Good laugh. <laughs> it's self satisfaction. A good laugh can't last forever. <laughs> Much like a life, which is how I'm going to transition to our <laughs> second uh, misplaced, misplaced sexy, sexy creature. creature. 
who well, wants I do to have take the a guess 50 Shades of Slime open if we want to go into that. You do have 50 Shades of Slime. Uh, you yeah. can go ahead and read 50 Shades of Slime before I move on. Uh, okay. Make sure you say who it's by and, uh, and uh, the summary. <laughs> um, I don't see a summary, first of all. but um, uh, Okay, fine. I'll read it then since well, you can't read. It says <laughs> 50 Shades of Slime by Bitter Angels. And then, uh, it's already the, a tortured the, soul that's writing this. The summary is, all he ever wanted was for him to be inside him. Good use of pronouns. <laughs> okay. And you want me to just read it? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's pretty long. You could just pick an excerpt. The joke, uh, audience, in case you're not going to look this beautiful piece of literature up, is that it's only about six lines long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and if you can call them lines. lines, one line is a is just the word yes. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I gave up the climax of the story. That's where I climaxed when I read it. <laughs> That's where hopefully all I, of our listeners will climax in unison. I I got semen all over my gack. <laughs> my Nickelodeon gack. <laughs> oh. Jack Black. <laughs> the gag is back. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> so, this is semi-related. Uh, yesterday, I was watching a bunch of 90s and 2000s car- uh, commercials. Yeah. And I saw the gag commercial, and it appeared like seven or eight times. But uh, it's like a picture of Gak. And then it zooms in on this, like, maybe 30-year-old woman who's dressed up to look like a 90-year-old librarian. And she, like, (laughs) reaches her head back and cranes in preparation for one. (gasps) (laughs) And it plays, like, four times within the same commercial. (laughs) Except for the last one where she she rears back and she goes, oh, why never? (laughs) Because she just wants to see Jack Black's sexuality preserved without any slime getting in her way. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> that's why uh, conservation groups have uh, really called for the president <laughs> to get involved in uh, declaring Jack Black a, a national uh, park. <laughs> you know what I think uh, Jill, Jill Stein, Stein and, and the Green Party are really about? <laughs> Green uh, Jack. Ma- major Green platform. <laughs> Just do that. Just that. Sex up the gag. <laughs> you know, Jill Stein's having an AMA right now. I could ask her. Do it. You wanna? Uh, when do I get to uh, bone the gag? <laughs> It'd be hilarious if she just responds soon. <laughs> Vote for me, and you shall see. She speaks in rhymes. <laughs> That's kind of her appeal to mass voters, is that she keeps things fresh with rhymes. <laughs> the, the Green Party is built on two thick pillars. One, gack. Two, rhymes. <laughs> they have principles. <laughs> yeah, but they're not the principles that go, Ugh, gack. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're old principles that look at gack and go, mm. Exactly. It's forward looking. It's progressive. It's very... it's, it really is. <laughs> Alright, so go ahead and read Fifty Shades of Slime for us now that I've uh, taken us on a 10 minute tangent. Perfectly fine. This was a necessary conversation. It's true. I think so. I, I'm not being sarcastic. Alright. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Slime by Bitter Angels. Slime Ghost wrapped its ectoplasmic body around John. Yes. John Egbert was finally inside him. He flaggled a bit as the boy tried to worm his way out. There was no escaping his jiggly bit. He was in this shit for life. So, Wesley, by context clues, can you figure out uh, what the word flaggled means. He flaggled a bit as he, as the boy tried to worm his way out. Flaggled? I don't know. Masturbation? I don't know. 
So I don't either. So I decided to Google this mysterious word, flaggle. There is no spelling that matches uh, this. Even and on, like, word, Urban Dictionary? Currently on Urban Dictionary, <laughs> F-L-A-G-G-L-E. Is that the same way that it was spelled? Can I not read? Oh, no, that's right. That's right. Yeah, it's spelled yeah. correctly. However, flaggle can only be a noun. <laughs> okay, well. So, sorry. Sorry. The top definition only uses it as a noun. All right. As one, a small piece of a bigger hole, of course. Or two, the male genitalia. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm quite partial to uh, the example sentence for number two. Uh, <laughs> Skeet came out of your flaggle. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the common common use of the word. <laughs> oh, oh, there goes my skeet. <laughs> right out of my flaggle. Right, 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 right out, out of my flaggle. flaggle. <laughs> so so flaggle can, can also be used as uh, an adjective. adjective. So, so not, not a verb. verb. <laughs> However, However, it's it's uh, the adjective itself is written in the infinitive form of a verb uh, to, to flap, flap around, around with, with no coordination, coordination and or control. control. Is, is that, that not, not a, a verb, verb definition? definition? I, mean, I mean, you're, you're the, the one, one here that, that writes dictionaries. dictionaries. I, I, I thought, thought you'd be able, able to tell me. me. Well, I mean, it's. I mean, there's other words that already. You know that 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 definition is already for, right? Like flail would probably be it'd be, it'd a, be better a better word. word. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be one that you know is found in a legitimate dictionary. All right, All right Wesley, Wesley. Right, right now, now we're, we're going to go, go ahead, ahead and, and review Fifty, 50 shades, shades of Slime, of slime uh, with our individual <clears throat> rating system. Uh, rating rating system. That's, that's right. That's right. right. So, so I'm going to give, give 50, Fifty Shades of Slime. slime. <laughs> okay. How many pancakes? Sorry, not how many pancakes. What kind of pancakes are you giving this thing? Or do you not do that anymore? Um, I do occasional pancakes. Uh, I also do ratings that are just like. Uh, one time I gave a rating of a chapter of uh, Captured by a Sheik by Jacqueline Diamond. Um, a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, no, I was just reading the reviews of it on fanfiction.net. Fan 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. Three old ladies trying to play the Game Boy SP. I've done that review before. Oh. Um, so it's a bit incompetent then. then. Yeah. But out of how many? I don't know. Um, that's, that's that's true. That's true. true. That's true. You, you never, never know, know how many. You, you, you never, never know, know how many old ladies, ladies it takes to play, play Game Boy SP. SP. It's true. Um, <laughs> science, eventually we'll get there. Science can't even answer that question. We have to turn to God for answers in the, that situation. We do have to turn to God, God for answers. answers. And, and you, know you know what? what? He can, can squirt slime, slime out of his ears. <laughs> you know what I liked <laughs> about uh, Can God Squirt Slime Out of His Ears? It was listed as VeggieTales fan <laughs> Yes! I saw <laughs> that, and I was... <laughs> I, was I, don't know, I don't know why you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, I saw that, and, like, I don't know, it was so bizarre that it didn't even <laughs> register to me. Like, what the hell... You know, I don't know. It was like, it was almost like I blacked out when I saw it. We, oh man, we, we need, need to have, have a Veggie Tales, Tales month or some shit. shit. We should just pirate <laughs> Veggie Tale episodes and then just post them on YouTube. Just <laughs> re-upload them on YouTube on our channel. <laughs> So people can either Every... listen to our podcast or they can just watch because when we when we re-upload them onto YouTube, we'll either like mirror them or we'll uh, like put it into a green screen where there's like theater curtains around it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, hey everybody, welcome, welcome back to the Serving, Serving Pleasure, Pleasure podcast, podcast, your one-stop shop for episodes, episodes of Veggie Tales. <laughs> Oh, we have fun. We, oh, we have fun here. <laughs> just, just me and Wesley and you, the listener. Just Maybe. You. Come here. Come, <laughs> Come here. No, don't run over. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down and listen. It's time for stories. It's time. Come gather around Pop Pop and listen to us <laughs> and read the story. I'm Pop, he's Pop. We call ourselves Pop Pop. <laughs>
I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm meandering. I'm meandering. I always meander. One of the other uh, pillars of my sexual frustration with Halloween is that I don't think that we have enough sexualized skeletons. That's true. They, they have all the. <laughs> they have. They have the. I mean. They have the, they have the, the, the very basics of what you need. <laughs> they're, they're so, so close to <laughs> regular human anatomy, human anatomy that you, you could if you just believed in yourself. But at that Look, point, the... you might as well just be imagining it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here. In, in the amount of erotica that I have read, which is one book, and... Like, like, a half question, question mark? I'm, I'm not sure how far I am in Bone Riders, which is why I got on this uh, topic in the first place. Uh, I think that sex is more about the mind than it is about the body, and skeletons that don't have either of those things, so they just try their best. You know, they're just there, you know, they're trying, they wake up in the morning, they go, they go and try their best, they go to bed, and the next day they... You know, they try and do even better. <laughs> you know, the resilience. You know, you know, you know it, it takes a thousand failures, failures to really appreciate a success. success. And, and I, I think, think that's, that's what skeleton, skeleton sex is all about. about. Mal. Okay. I don't believe it. You don't believe me? So, so if you want to open up a skeletal romance, romance uh, if you want. This, this one's, one's actually really long. long and I only really found one, one quote that I liked from it. And I, don't I don't really want to read it because we've already, already been running for a while. Uh, <laughs> just at, at the end of this. Oh, oh shit! No, I was, I was thinking about the other one. one. Never mind. mind. This one might have, have a sex you did in it. Because I thought, I swear to God, I thought that this story ended with skeleton getting pregnant. Where would the baby be? It's like it's bones. It's just, you know, floating in, in front of the, uh, the, the, the back, back of the spine. <laughs> like, just, just under the rib cage. <laughs> Listen, Wesley, Wesley, when you think about skeleton anatomy, it's, it's a lot like the human anatomy, except when they have babies, they're just held within the rib cage. And they have to constantly hold them up or else they'll fall out the bottom. Because there's not, like, a diaphragm to hold. Get I'm the fuck out of here! <laughs> Not you, you the listener, just cat. cat. And if you're Ooh, a cat whatever. listening to this, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> if you have a cat in the room, tell him to, tell him to go fuck some gag. <laughs> While thinking about Jack Black. <laughs> While thinking about Jack Black. <laughs> fucking gag, gag with Jack, Jack Black. Black. Boat Jill Stein. Boat Jill Stein. <laughs> <laughs> it's her whole motto. I love her. I love her. But not, not as much as I love Jack. I give Jill Stein three uh, <laughs> mediocre kisses. I give, uh... I give, uh... I give Jill Stein a... Jack is back! The kid is flat! <laughs> So, we're, I guess we're pretty big fans. She's a host! <laughs> We're the most! <laughs> Jack is back! Fuck some cat. Jill Stein. 2016. County board. She's just running for county board. She's willing to take whatever she can get. Political office? Political office? I got it. Take it. Can I put Gak in it? Got it. You vote for Jill Stein. A vote for Jill Stein is a vote for persistence. It's a nice aftertaste. It's got legs. It's got good legs. I could use this as backwash. Uh, I, I would love, love this. this. It's, it's, a, a, it's a fine, fine potpourri in the living room. room. <laughs> what are we <laughs> describing? I don't know. Jill Stein's bones. Jill Stein's bones. Jill Stein's bones. <laughs> Jill Stein's bones. <laughs>
which are ground into a fine gap. <laughs> I, I I have st- so I have two two more uh, pieces of fan fiction. One of them I really only got uh, just to appeal to all you. Uh, what, 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 what am I supposed to call you? You you, you low level <laughs> first tier non understanders of Halloween sex culture to uh, to appeal to your sensibilities. Uh, I, 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 I did include some vampires and werewolves in my selection. Uh, however, I only, I only picked two stories. One of them is uh, an eon to read. It, it says on the top of the page, uh, words, one eon. Uh, and that's the snow, that's the snow always melts. Uh, and then I also got another one that's only two paragraphs. And that's, of course, Mario x Luigi Fan Wolf. I thought it was Mario times Luigi. <laughs> Equals <laughs> family. Uh, I like how then in the title as well, it says Vam Wolf chapter one, comma, a Mario fanfic. As if you weren't it able I, to discern. I don't, I, I, I don't have that on my page. page. Oh, oh shit, I totally, I totally forgot this was two chapters. chapters. Oh god, I'm, I'm actually reading it and it's grossing me out. I kind of do want to read it, but I'm not really sure where... The, the uh, vampire, vampire stuff, stuff comes in. in. Oh, oh, never mind, I found it. it. So, so Wesley, Wesley, do you have it open? open? Yeah. Do you, you want to go to chapter, chapter two? two? Yes. Okay, okay great. great. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Just read the first four words. <laughs> <laughs> Mario <laughs> groaned as Luigi grasped his throbbing manhood and began, began rubbing and massaging it. Bro! <laughs> so good, <laughs> Luigi. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> cold, cold. Uh, but I think what I really wanted to read is, is what gets to the point. Uh, Wesley, if you can find it, it's after Luigi. Ah, fuck, so big. The older gas. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'll, I'll just pick up from after that. If you just want to read the dialogue, that 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 that'd be great. Uh, wait, where? Like, so a third down the page or where? It, it's, it's like, like a third. third. It's, it's Luigi off ah, fuck so big, the older guy. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to start it. Large brown wolf ears sprouted from his head, and a fluffy brown tail grew from just above his rear. While Luigi's teeth had sharpened and grown into large fangs, and his eyes changed from blue to blood red. But Mario, you're, you're so fucking tight. <laughs> the younger groaned, thrusting in and out of his brother at a quick pace. Luigi! Luigi! Oh! For fuck! Yes! H- harder! Harder! Right there! <laughs> Mario gasped when his brother hit that one spot. You know the spot. Your cat knows the spot. Jill Stein knows the spot. <laughs> Jack Black knows the spot. Jack knows the spot. <laughs> it's right up in your deck. <laughs> Just, just, just like, like that, that, that famous Russell Brand, Brand movie. Get, get it in the gag. <laughs> Call it followed by the not as famous uh, Jonah Hill movie. Take it in the gag. <laughs> not so popular. Didn't do so well at the box Not so popular. I think Jonah Hill just wasn't at that right point in his career. Yet. He wasn't ripe for the gag. <laughs> right for the gag. <laughs> All right, it's dialogue right now, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, we, we don't, don't have, have to read, read anymore. <laughs> no, 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 I want to. Okay, okay all right. I, I want to, to, I want to read the Mario. Mario. Uh, it's Halloween theme. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're doing a Halloween episode. Uh, it's okay. kind of a Halloween thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh when, when his, his brother, brother hit that, that one spot. spot. You're so beautiful when you're like this, my dear, sweet Mario. The, the younger breathed into his brother's, brother's neck, neck, close to coming. coming. I'm going to... To going g- going to where's, where's he going? going? Mario, I'm coming. Oh, that's, that's where he's going. going. <laughs> Luigi <laughs> moaned loudly, shooting, shooting his semen. I thought it said green semen. semen. <laughs> shooting his semen deep inside of his brother. Well, <laughs> Luigi has the green semen. Mario has the red semen. That's how you tell them apart. Yeah, how else would you tell their semen apart? <laughs> they're all. <laughs> In the uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga series, uh, Mario still has red semen, but uh, Luigi shoots green gak. 
<laughs> Vote Jill Stein. Vote Jill Stein for county board. <laughs> Any county board. <laughs> She's trying. She tried, she tried so, so hard. hard. <laughs> Anyone she'll get on, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, shooting, shooting a semen deep, deep inside, inside of his brother. brother. Luigi. Oh, fuck. So much c cum. Feels s so good. Mario moaned, panting heavily. Luigi took the chance and sank his fangs into Mario's neck, injecting him venom into his brother. <laughs> injecting him venom. <laughs> injecting him venom. <laughs> L Luigi! Mario gasped, shaking. Luigi clutched onto his brother, forcing him to pull away. He licked his brother's blood off of his lips, shivering slightly at the delicious taste. Luigi, what have you done? Mario groaned in pain. Luigi, Luigi hugged, hugged him closely, closely instantly feeling bad. bad. The older whimpered, clinging on to his brother and shaking. And that's, and that's where chapter, chapter two ends. And there's no further chapters, so it's... There no, no more, more chapters. chapters. Or maybe, you know, it, these chapters are pretty lengthy. Maybe they're just taking a long time to write chapter three. It's true. Our, Our dear, dear, sweet author, author Kamiko Panda. Panda. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she... Uh, <laughs> my sweet Kamiko Panda. <laughs> Kamiko Panda says, vote Jill Stein. Bring the Gak back. With Kamiko. Bring the Gak back with Jill Stein and Kamiko Panda. Uh, she has listed this fan fiction as complete. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Well, she also it. listed this as romance and suspense. So I hey, mean, the, the, the first chapter, chapter may have, have been, been very suspenseful. We, we didn't read it. it. We, we did, did not read it. it. I'm willing to make the assumption it was not. And <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know, know what the, the real cliffhanger of this story is for me? The, the fact, fact that there's, there's no period at the end of that last sentence. Yeah. The, the sentence. The sentence never ends. Could be going on forever. So I'm looking at Kamiko Panda's page, <laughs> and it looks like Kamiko Panda's written several Mario times Luigi fanfics. You know, everybody can have their ships. If there's anything I've learned by being on fanfiction.net uh, twice a month, uh, every month, uh, it's that, you know, anybody, any can, anyone can be whatever they want. Like, but not just time. There's no one. <laughs> No, no one is an amorphous blob gag. Like county board representative Jill Stein. <laughs> we already assuming she won. <laughs> I'm with Gak. Zero precincts reporting. We are calling the the race for <laughs> county board for Jill Stein. <laughs> somewhere for Jill Stein. Make America gag again. <laughs> Turn the whole country back into gag. With Jill Stein and Kamiko Panda. With Jill Stein and Kamiko Panda. That's, is that her vice county board representative, Kamiko Panda? So there was one more story, correct? We could just ignore that one. I don't, I don't even want to read it. Yeah, it's it's literally too much. I just Have you clicked on it? No, I haven't looked at it at all. I'll, I'll just say that it exists. Um, it's called The Snow Always Melts by Master Vicious Shellin. Uh, and it's a vampire werewolf take on Romeo and Juliet with a twist. Enjoy. Um, it's it's Romeo and Juliet abridged, just changing characters' names and turning the Capulets into werewolves and the Montagues into vampires. You know, that's some great insight, you know? That's some real creative... Uh decision making that master vicious uh or maybe i can just call him master shalon um <laughs> yeah, i think he'd be okay, okay with that we're, we're very, very close. close i'm guessing vicious is his first name <laughs> yeah <laughs> even though how uh, do you hey hyphenated. wesley did you click uh, on it yeah I'm, I'm i'm looking at it now oh i was gonna ask if you if hey bailey how do you spell vicious 
All right, All right great. great. Um, I'm scared to spell it wrong. Just, no, just, just try, try to try to spell vicious, vicious the way that uh, that this uh, our our oh, beloved oh, author, our, our beloved author, author spell vicious. V i s h o u s. That's yes. correct. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you, have su- you have successfully misspelled vicious. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, she su- she successfully successfully misspelled. Success- okay. Campaign, Campaign for Jill Stein. Stein. She'll bring our country great success. <laughs> um, she successfully <laughs> spelled vicious the same way as our beloved donating author. Okay, it's their name, so like I don't think you should say that they spelled their own name wrong. Master they, Vicious no, Salon, you misspelled your name. <laughs> but. There's one spelling that's much more important here, and that's the city that these characters live in. So, Wesley, do you remember where Romeo and Juliet took place? Verona. Yeah, it's Verona. Yeah, Fair Verona is where they later seen. Um, in this story, the snow always melts. Our city? No. Is this a character's name? Fuck, I, I just glimpsed at this. I'm sorry, Vicious Shalon. I was not interested. We, we 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 welcome ourselves to to the it's all, all got to come out. Get that, that get this gag out, out of me. me. Um, <laughs> too, much gag. Gag. <laughs> too, too much gag. Too much gag. There's no, no such thing, thing as too much gag. gag. Jill Stein, 2016. <laughs> the Lord's <laughs> name is Lord Elsvervowle, but it's E L S E. W, w with a carrot over it. E R V O with the what's the what's the tiny little U that you put above letters as an accent? A U. Whatever. It's it's got one of those. And then a W and then an E with a circumflex. I'm looking at it right now. Ridiculous. I don't I don't know how to say that. And. I don't, I don't know, know if it's, it's important. important. What I want to make sure is that it's internally, internally consistent, consistent, and it looks like it is. But, but the, the fact, fact that this person would, like, write this this many times means they either A, copied and pasted it, B, knew the keyboard shortcuts for each of those letters, which I certainly don't, or C, had to constantly go back to their word processor, go to insert, symbol, and then click on one of those letters each time. And, and then I don't know which copy and paste it into the, uh, <laughs> into the fanfic.net uh, editor. <laughs> exactly. And I don't know which one of those three is the most impressive. Wait, type it into Google and have it pronounce it. Uh, yeah, sure. So this is a story all about how... Um, that, that character, character ended pregnant, pregnant and I got, got it confused with the skeleton one. Fuck, I can't find the one where it was before, and, and there's, there's no way that, that I can control F it. it. Control F this. Um, <laughs> Jill Stein. Kill me. That was the word. Jill, Jill Stein. 2016. I can't highlight any of the words on this page. I would assume that, that is so I can't steal other people's written material. material. So, so there's, there's no way for me to search this. <laughs> Unless, Unless I, I type, type it myself, which I am not going to do. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what's his, what's his, Master Vicious? Sorry, Sorry Master, Master Vicious Shalon. Sorry, Sorry, Jill Stein. Stein. Sorry, Jack Black. Sorry, Jack. Sorry, Cats. Sorry, America. Sorry, Sorry, America. You know, most of our, our listeners, listeners are, are in, uh, Germany, so. Uh, oh, I thought it was Mongolia. <laughs> uh, Peter Zay. I don't know how to say. Sorry, uh, so, sorry. I'll, I'll say, say sorry, sorry twice in English. English. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> because everyone I'll knows say... saying the word twice in English equates to one word in <laughs> one German. One German sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so two, two, two English, English sorries or one, one German, German sorry. sorry. <laughs> They're extra sorry in Germany. Because <laughs> of the war. Because of the war, now, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Damn, Damn that war. war. <laughs> Both of them. Both of the both of those wars. Sorry, sorry for those wars. 
You know what? I think it's time for Serving Pleasure Podcast to officially come out and condemn <laughs> both world wars. <laughs> We've been skirting yeah. around this issue for too long. For too long. <laughs> you know what? World, world War One. Terrible. Condemned. So many people died. Condemned. condemned. Consider yourself condemned, condemned on behalf of Jill Stein. Stein. <laughs> world War II. Why <laughs> Jill died so much? World War II. Condemned. Don't, Don't go, go in, in there. there. It's a <laughs> shitty old building. It's dangerous to re-enter. Jill Stein, 2016, County Board, has said World War II is condemned. <laughs> this is no safe place for GAC. No country for green GAC. Jill Stein, 2016, Her platform is expanding. <laughs> So, So, (laughs) I wanted to talk about one more mythical creature. Wesley, I'm sure over the course of this podcast, you've thought of one that is very underrepresented in today's uh, sexualized Halloween culture, which is something that we all just love so much. We adore it. We adore it as much as we love Jill Stein. Um, And have you thought thought of one, or should I just say mine? Uh, Creeper from Scooby-Doo. It's the one that, uh, it, like, its arms are perpetually forward and it has a hunch. And, it, like, <laughs> it's, uh, one of its eyes is always, like, partially closed. I don't, I don't want to say And he, he, like, he moans, like, like creeper. Oh, oh is, is that, that the one in the, in the brown, brown shirt? shirt? Uh, brown shirt and green jacket Slash. blazer. Yeah. And, and he's, he's got, got like, like that, that, uh, that mop top. Yeah, he's got the mop top. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's creepy. He's got that that's Beatles creepy. mop top. He's, he's like a, a he's like a grown up sweet life kid. kid. He is in fact a grown up <laughs> sweet life kid. <laughs> he's a grown up, <laughs> then deceased, and then reanimated sweet life child. He was uh, he was one of the <laughs> sweet life children, hit by. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> intoxicated what's his name mr mosley mr, mr. mosby uh always, by an intoxicated mr. Mr. mr mosby what he is not, not related to jennifer mosley <laughs> from nasty classified school survival guy i know different channels You're different franchises um, only one of those channels supports Jack and jill stein <laughs> although, although both, <laughs> both networks are in support of jill stein <laughs> to the 60 per county board. Thank you. Th- I want to thank the Disney Channel and Nickelodeon for lending us their support uh, in our campaign for Jill Stein for county board. And condemning the world wars. And condemning the world wars. I know that was a very hard stance to take, but we're glad that they were brave enough to side with us on this issue. It's time for us to look back at history and account for what's happened and, you know, say, enough's enough. <laughs> No, no more World, World War, War I. I. <laughs> <laughs> I will not have another World War II. <laughs> if, if another, another World, World War II happens, happens, I will be endlessly upset. <laughs> Don't let it happen. The assassination of Franz, of Archduke Franz Ferdinand <laughs> cannot happen twice. <laughs> Literally and, you know, I just don't want it to happen. Idealistically and literally, it, sh- it cannot happen. Wesley, I forgot. Um, I forgot. There's one Halloween character that he appears on our television screens every year. Um, Charlie Brown. Him, at least before the podcast ends, and before I mention my mythical character of choice, uh, it's Casper. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Oh, <laughs> the very sexually promiscuous friendly ghost. <laughs> I mean, you know it. Uh, I want, I want you to take, take a guess, guess uh, Mr. Corbola. How many sexy stories about Casper do you think exist on fanfiction? Um, well, it, he was a prominent character in many, many children's childhoods. So, I would say that many children going through puberty had the experience of watching Casper on television. So I'm willing to bet there's... 
over twenty thousand. <laughs> There's not twenty thousand anything on fanfiction.net. I'm just. I'm just. Yeah, I, you. I, 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 I'm just gonna go ahead and look at how much Naruto, Naruto fanfiction exists on fanfiction.net, <laughs> and, and you can take a guess from there. Okay, never mind. Uh, I was gonna say that there's no way there's more than twenty thousand pieces of fanfiction on Naruto. There are four hundred and seven thousand pieces of fanfiction on Naruto. Yeah, see, I, I think I remember seeing quite a bit in the Harry Potter fanfiction too. Uh, so for Casper. When, when I, I use, use the, the genre filter, filter of romance and the rating, rating filter of M, I find 42 results. Are you just fucking measly, kidding me? Just a measly 42 results for this beloved American cartoon character. Come on, people. This was a beloved childhood character. Why would you not <laughs> grow up and write fan fiction about him having sex? So, listeners of the Serving Pleasure podcast... I need to plead this of you. On this All Hallows Eve, please write as much Casper fan fiction as you can and make it smutty. Pump these numbers up. 42? 42 fanfiction.net? We can get more. I think we need to start playing the song We Are the World at this point in the podcast. We are Casper, <laughs> the smutty <laughs> ghost. That's the Foster Stone for imagination, for imaginary friends theme song. Um, <laughs> easily mixed up. <laughs> Very easy to get confused. <laughs> He's Casper, the friendly ghost. Show me how friendly this ghost can be. <laughs> or not friendly. Or no. not friendly. <laughs> Just rude. He's, you know, he he gets consensual sex but you know, no 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 uh he doesn't what are call those, back afterwards are they are what, what are those other three ghosts that hang out with casper are these uncles yeah his uncles yeah his uncles where's that give me that if you can write me a fan fiction forget about just casper. email it to, forget forget about casper he's a, he's a child leave him alone <laughs> he's just he's just a little boy <laughs> He's a sweet, innocent little boy. The fact that you have 42 pieces of fan fiction on a, a deceased infant, no less. Appalling. That is appalling. That is appalling. I am disgusted. Jill what a Stein gross amount not... of stories. <laughs> Ew, I feel disgusting for even having looked at the number. There should there should be zero. There should be zero. Fanfiction.net, you should be ashamed of yourself. Now, these uncles, yeah. though. <laughs> Where are the uncles at? Because, uh, listeners of Serving Pleasure Podcast, I would love for you to write in, uh, just some fan fiction about, about these uncles. And they can be about as long as, uh, Ken Cod squirts slime out of his ear. And I would accept that. It counts. It counts. It counts. It counts. So if you just want to send that into our email, servingpleasurepodcast at gmail.com, write it on our Facebook page. You know, at this link, you could post it on Twitter. Uh, and hashtag it, uh, Kaspunkle. For Casper. For Casper Uncle. <laughs> they're called. Three Kaspunkles. <laughs> if, you, if you want to write us some uh, fan fiction... Uh, about, about the three, three Kispunkles. Uh, just go ahead and tweet that with the hashtag uh, <laughs> Sexy Kispunkle. <laughs> I miss this podcast so much. We'll be monitoring that hashtag very closely over the I next will. two years. If you put Casper in there, I will hunt you down. He's innocent. <laughs> he is a boy. There's already <laughs> 42 too many stories. Go, don't post any mean comments on these, but go ahead and read these 42 Casper Smart stories and just shake your head at them. Just shake your head and just be, just be upset. How dare they? Don't tell them. That's mean. Just, ugh. All I hope right now is, you know, I re- we I realized we were inconsistent with the Casper story. I'm gonna I'm gonna confess to that, but you know, I don't know what Jill, you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, you don't have to admit it, but I will. But 
Jill Stein, you know, she listens to our podcast. This is where she gets her platform. And I'm just worried that she she tweeted something that she's going to have to delete now. You know, because she tweeted, you know, like, we need more Casper Smut. And then now she's seeing, like, oh, fuck, what did I do? And, you know, we need her for county board, people. Don't let this... <laughs> Don't let this one, you know, mess up, ruin, you know, gag. Jill Stein is the change that we can believe in. Don't That's just the gag. I'm gonna step off my soapbox, but you know. Get off your get off your gag box. <laughs> and talk about what matters. No, stop talking about what matters. I'm just I'm gonna start talking about what matters. Other, Other than, than hashtag Kispunkle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for those of you that are confused on how to spell Kispunkle, uh, that is the pound sign C-A-S-P-U-N-C-L-E. That's that's how you spell Kispunkle. And we the port man. And if you're it's writing funny. these fanfics, and even if we spell it out for you, we'll be looking at the misspelled versions of that word as well. Because, because we you know, know that's that, what our master vicious would want. And yeah, we know that it's it's hard for people who write fanfic to spell correctly even spell... common words. It's hard for people who write real erotica to spell words. <laughs> or have name consistency. We're willing to look at reality and see it as it is. Accept you for what you are. We love you. We love Kuspunkel. We love Jill Stein County Board 2016. We love Jilly. Good old, good old Jilly. <laughs> All right, Wesley. I know I've kept you in uh, in suspense, unlike uh, Van yes. Wolf. <laughs> but uh, here it is. My underrepresented supernatural creature for 2016 is. Drum roll, please. Uh, drum, 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 drum. The Chupacabra! Oh, man. That's the right. The Chupacabra. The Mexican goat eating demon. The goat sucker. How is there not enough goat sucking thing? The goat does. We all know the goat sucker has, you know, jugs. <laughs> jugs of goat blood. Um. We all know that the Chupacabra, um, you know, its libido is strong. It's true. It's as strong strong as the the Chupacabra Chupacabra is fierce. (laughs) Well, you know, which is pretty damn fierce. It's very fierce. It's not not to be be trifled in. Ask a goat. (laughs) Yeah, ask a goat. (laughs) Ask a goat. You can't. They're dead. All their blood was sucked out. So... Wesley, I had this idea, and let me know if you think it's a good one. I would like to propose Serving Pleasure Podcast's first improvised fan fiction writing. Oh. Yeah. I do like that idea. All right. So I know that you were very upset that the Creeper hasn't gotten a lot of representation. I was sobbing. Go back to minute 30, and... You'll hear a solid 20 minutes of sobbing. Would you like to to add that uh, sound effect right now so I can go ahead and put it back there? Yeah. <laughs> it hurts. Perfect. Uh, listeners to the Serving Pleasure podcast, you can free, feel free to use that sound bite anywhere you please. Um, Royalty free. Royalty free. <laughs> Use it as your ringtone. I'd love to hear it. (laughs) It hurts. (laughs) It hurts. But let's not dawdle. Even though that's all we've done. (laughs) You shut the fuck up. You you gack your mouth shut. And we will continue this podcast without dawdling. Oh, my nose is just... You ever have your nose itch so bad? (laughs) All right, no, let's let's talk about this. So, I think first things first. Before we even come up with a title for our for our smutty fan fiction, 
do we want the creeper and the chupacabra together or do we want them doing their own thing um do you ship creeper cabra you are home <laughs> that's my home home is where the chupa creeper is home is where the gag is <laughs> Home is where the jelly is. <laughs> Five. Hash, uh, Serving, Serving Pleasure Podcast. podcast. Uh, hashtag, hashtag Halloween. Halloween. Hashtag Find the Jilly. <laughs> hashtag. She's hiding cool. somewhere. You have to find her. Where is she? Where's Jilly? Hint. She's at the county board. <laughs> <laughs> she made it. She's there. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm yeah, I'm up for having both of them in it to win it. Um, they're they're playing the game minute to win it. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, do you, you want to start, start this, this one, one off then? then? Are we doing this right now? Yeah. yeah no, we're do- we're doing it right now. All right. Uh, fuck it. You know, fuck, fuck you. I'm gonna start it. it. All right. Because I, I can't get this line out of my head. Waves crash upon the moonlit shore. <laughs> as the blinding lights of the in it to win it bo- game show board drop in front of the moonlit backdrop and we meet our three contestants popcorn west this is also done in the form of a popcorn reading <laughs> contestant number one stands up in a slouched form he stares at host guy fieri <laughs> With one eye clearly open, the other one, you know, it's on its way there. His name? Creeper. J. Johnson. (laughs) The crowd applauds as uh, the Creeper does somersaults. I didn't didn't think he could do that! Whoa! (laughs) It's crazy! His his back is in the perfect arch to roll! (laughs) <laughs> the audience really knows. <laughs> 10 out of 10! 10 out of 10! <laughs> Put that man on the county board! <laughs> That's once uh, the audience yells that, contestant number two steps forward. Popcorn <laughs> Ethan. You know her. You love her. <laughs> America's sweetheart, Jill Stein, steps up to the plate. <laughs> She takes her right index finger and smears her name onto her name tag in a bright neon green gack coloring. Oh, her cursive, that great again. <laughs> her cursive uh, impeccable. impeccable. Her, her slogan, slogan, make America, make America gack, 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 gack again. again. The audience the is audience in tears, tears of, joy, of joy, applauding, applauding as their, as their hero, hero, American hero. war veteran, Jill Stein. <laughs> Two-time World War veteran Jill Stein prepares for this game show. (laughs) The audience is deafening. Aggressive applause has upset our third demure and shy member uh, contestant on In It to Win It, Popcorn West. A goat falls. (laughs) <laughs> it's uh it's corpse is sprayed with blood as <gasps> chupacabra come uh jumps off its lazy boy chair that it was resting in <laughs> they just have, just lazy, have lazy boy, boy chairs, chairs. Just, just one for the chupacabra <laughs> 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 it usually guy fieri relaxes in it during commercial break <laughs> Uh, no, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the chupacabra walks forward and grabs Jill Stein, America's baby sweetheart, by the chin. America's, America's little, little baby, baby girl. girl. <laughs> Our, adorable, Our adorable, sweet, sweet little, little baby, baby two-time, two-time World War, War veteran, veteran Jill Stein. Jill Stein. In it, America, yeah, county board America's, America's baby county board member. <laughs> <laughs> America's youngest <laughs> member of the county board. Who's a baby? <laughs> just a baby. <laughs> just a baby. 
<laughs> he grabs the chupacabra, grabs Jill Stein by the tip of her chin, and yells into her face in perfect English. <laughs> I know what you tweeted about Casper. <laughs> Popcorn Ethan. The audience gasps. Gasps! prepared for, for, the, for the verbal onslaught that Chupacabra is about to give America's itty bitty baby Jillian, Jillian Stein. <laughs> Guy Fieri <laughs> mashes the, the silence button. <laughs> <laughs> the game is in session. <laughs> the chupacabra angrily shuffles back to his uh, podium. The guy finally taking control of his auditorium says, About time! The audience screams, About time! About time! Guy Fieri. <laughs> it's a minute! Guy Fieri stammers, <laughs> Uh, welcome to Anna to win it. Uh, this is my first time hosting the show. I don't remember how to play, but uh, we're gonna do it. I'm, I'm, John, uh, I'm Johnny Garlic. Contestant number Jill Stein. <laughs> are, are you in this? To win this, popcorn was. Jill Stein straightens out her chin. <laughs> she crawls forward, only wearing her diaper. <laughs> Before her. I don't know what else she would be wearing. She's a baby. Sorry. Go she's on. just a baby. She's two weeks old. She crawls forward to the first round of Minute to Win It, which is a series of plastic cups filled with water and some filled with vinegar. She has a minute to drink only the ones with vinegar. <laughs> and if she drinks one with water... I mean, it's hard to tell, but Guy Fieri will, you know, he'll, you know, he'll be like, you're not wincing, so it's probably water. It's not a very well set up game. No. <laughs> he did he didn't check before he set them up. That's not his job. <laughs> he was just pouring shit into cups. <laughs> She's... Uh, he thought he was on another episode of Diners, Divers, and Drives, and they pulled him in for a minute to win it today. <laughs> he was gonna just try some vinegar. It's world renowned vinegar. Jill Stein cracks her baby knuckles. <laughs> and she reaches the first cup. She ages 50 years. <laughs> That's our Jilly. Her diaper morphs into a suit. <laughs> And she screams to the heavens, Popcorn Ethan. I am Jill Stein. I will make America gack again. The audience roars. Roar! Lion roars. Roar! A, bear, a bear roars from the audience. Roar! The, the bear wears a small button shoved into its chest that says Jill Stein for County Board 2016. I'm a supporter of a baby. <laughs> but I'm even more supportive of this leader. <laughs> Jill Stein races onto the stage, drinking cup after cup of vinegar. Using her keen sense of smell, she knows which cup is which. She downs 18 cups of vinegar. Before the acid burns through her stomach and she is immediately taken to the hospital, Popcorn West. <laughs> Guy Fieri chuckles to himself. <laughs> there is no commercial break, but there is a five-minute <laughs> silence. 
<laughs> the audience adheres. <laughs> as is the custom. They watch contemplatively as Guy Fieri kind of shuffles his feet. His knees are tired. They're about to buckle. He yells. He shouts. <laughs> at the top of his lungs. Ah! Contestant oh! number one. Creeper, step forward. The creeper does this. <laughs> uh, chapter two. Popcorn <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> the creeper walks up to a large chalkboard. Guy Fieri places a single piece of blue chalk into the creeper's left and non dominant hand. <gasps> <laughs> Guy walks up to the chalkboard and says, You will have one minute to solve this. He flips the chalkboard over. Connect the dots! <laughs> <laughs> the timer starts! The creeper <laughs> paces up to the chalkboard. Slams his right hand onto the chalkboard for support and begins to punch at the chalkboard. The creeper failed out of writing school four times. How did Guy Fieri know that connecting the dots was his singular weakness? His right hand slips from support. The chalk falls out of his left hand. The bottom of the chalkboard catches the creeper at the waist and he comically flips over the top of the chalkboard and falls on the other side. The audience guffaws. Jill Stein would never do something like that. Guy Fieri picks creeper up off the ground. Popcorn West. Guy Fieri, his tongue slips from his lips. He reaches down. His, his face reaches down to the creeper's Voluptuous cheeks, lips, <laughs> eyes, ears. They're swollen. They're all very swollen. <laughs> He's got a gigantic brow ridge. <laughs> Guy Fieri. He whispers to the creeper, Take me. The audience laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> As is the custom. <laughs> After the final laugh by a man named Jerry. That's me, I'm Jerry. The I'm creeper the, the creeper drops his trousers. All that is there <laughs> is a baby carrot wrapped <laughs> tied to his waist with a rainbow yarn. Guy Fieri looks at the cameras and says Holy guacamole. <laughs> I struck gold. He sticks the baby carrot in his mouth and gargles it like uh, water after brushing his teeth. Except this time he, he brushed his teeth with a, a, a baby carrot penis. <laughs> Far Far off in the hospital where Jill Stein is <laughs> is laying unconscious, she wakes from her slumbers, from her slumbers. That's right, plural. Jill Stein is such a powerful politician; she can sleep twice in one instance of rest. She's just a baby, and she's just a baby. She yells at her nurse, who is just taking her blood pressure. Oh my fucking god, they're having the sex! <laughs> Popcorn Ethan. <laughs> the television in the hospital is still on minute to win it. A two hour long broadcast. <laughs> on the, f the camera shifts to the Chupacabra, Chupacabra, who is still waiting patiently for his turn at the podium. <laughs> He's patient. Guy, you know, he's, he's, he's very, very patient. Guy Fieri, dick hanging from the, the his pant zipper, stands up 
and dusts himself <laughs> off and looks at the trooper cover and goes, Duh! You, uh, uh, you have a minute to join in or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> The chupacabra <laughs> leaps over the podium, claws through the chalkboard, and, and places its firm, scaly rectum onto the mouth of the creature. The keepers... <laughs> The, cre <laughs> the creeper's bulgy eyeballs first make contact with the rectum, scratching them, and the creeper says, Oh! But this does not impede his progress. Using his muscular and <laughs> hewn eyeballs, he rotates the chupacabra into position. Anus placed directly over the creeper's mouth. The creeper's mouth opens. Popcorn noise. Out of the mouth flies 1,500 bats. <laughs> <laughs> they fly into the chupacabra. <laughs> they fly to the chupacabra's anus. All squirming and, uh, uh, squirming some more into... <laughs> Into the uh, the the lower bowel of the chupacabra, Guy yeah, Fieri looks up from the baby carrot penis, <laughs> looks up at the bats entering chupacabra's anus, and yells, "Holy guacamole! I struck gold <laughs> twice!" <laughs> the audience applause once. <laughs> Guy Fieri takes off his wig. <laughs> Underneath is the same exact hair <laughs> that, that he had before. But this time, there's some orange highlights in it. The crowd applauds for 15 minutes. <laughs> 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 After the the required 15 minutes of applause, Guy, Fier <laughs> Guy Fieri <laughs> says, uh, announces to the audience, it's time. Slowly, each audience member comes forward and slices their palm open and rubs it across <laughs> Guy Fieri's face. Blood of various types and with various blood pathogens cover okay, Guy Fieri. B positive, B positive, B negative, O negative, O positive, AB positive, AB negative, G. Yeah. As the blood seeps into <laughs> Guy Fieri's sponge-like skin, <laughs> Guy Fieri shrieks to hell <laughs> and slowly turns into a bat, but with Guy Fieri's head. He flaps his wings, sets course due north to the chupacabra's anus, <laughs> and says, ready or not, here I come. Come spelled C-U-M. Oh. Popcorn Ethan. Guy Fieri, ascending through the chupacabra's anus, leaves, leaves a trail of gack behind him. <laughs> Green, to be specific. <laughs> <laughs> the cameras pan out. <laughs> the chupacabra's <laughs> joyless expression. <laughs> the chupacabra looks at its watch. He knows that the ne within the next five minutes, he will have one minute to win it. <laughs> it takes him five minutes to win, minute to win it. <laughs> We, the camera zooms very close <clears throat> into young Chupi's eyeball. We see Guy Fieri has taken his nest just behind Chupi's corneas. 
the creeper stands up and brushes the large amounts of guano from his baby carrot penis. <laughs> takes <laughs> takes the chupacabra by the shoulders. Look, tonight may have been rough, but this was a good game. You gave it your all, and you really did beat me to the punch. I never learned how to write. I wanted, I wanted to, to go, go to Juilliard. <laughs> I wanted to be a trombone player. My, My father, father called me a fool. My father was never seen on the entirety of the sweet life of Zack and Cody. So no one knows what he looks like. I feel so alone. The Chupacabra looked at him, opened his mouth, and said, Popcorn Wes. All right. <laughs> they smile at each other for 30 minutes. <laughs> Not once do either of them blink. Neither does any audience member. <laughs> the don't blink sign is on. <laughs> After the required 30 minutes of grinning and eyes wide open, a gunshot rings through the minute to win it arena. The so creeper bad. drops. His contact lenses. As he searches the floor, he he finds them. They're dirty, but he doesn't clean them. He puts them back in his eyes. He blinks 23 times. Looks around him. And finds that the minute to win it champion, Mr. Chupacabra, has passed away in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Jill Stein, now Surgeon General, comes He's forward. Good at those ladders. <laughs> comes forward from the audience. She goes to the creeper and says, I'm sorry, there is nothing we could do for him. He was 1,000 years old. <laughs> old age. It was, it's at that point that Jill Stein grasps the creeper's baby carrot penis, rips it off, throws it into the crowd, and yells, Gak is back. <laughs> the audience cries once. <laughs> Popcorn Ethan. <laughs> cries one singular member of the audience a second guy fieri steps down from the back corner of the auditorium and says how's that show ladies and gentlemen <laughs> takes his place at his singular podium and says thanks for watching tonight's episode of minute to win it come back next week and we're gonna have john leguizamo <laughs> Ralph Nader, and a bungee cord. <laughs> the creeper falls over, dead. Too much blood leaking from where his baby carrot used to be attached. Jill Stein goes on to become the president of the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> and of choopy and creepy. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, 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 Wes, how'd you think that went? I thought it went splendidly. I think I we should try and transcribe that and put it up on fanfiction.net. I think, I think that they would love it. You know, we could have a running Serving Pleasure podcast improvised fanfic on the, on fanfic.net. Oh, for sure. We totally could. Hey, Bailey, what, what did you, you think? think? He's not, not here. here. She said stupid. You're right. <laughs> it was. <laughs> but that's what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. I was surprised that, you know, not a lot, uh, not a lot of World War II came up 
World War One. No, no. Um, Look, there are only so many things we can do when we're like in the spotlight. My entire mind fades to Gak, Gak, and I can't think. My mind wanders to bats flying up anuses. <clears throat> Very little Nikki of you. <laughs> I know it's your favorite Adam Sandler movie, as well as your number three movie of all time. My number one is Sky High. <laughs> it sure is. Second one is Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> Academy for Superheroes. <laughs> Starring Tim Allen. Ah. Uh. I don't, I don't know. So, so, hey, listeners, if you liked, liked us making, making up stupid fan fiction and shit, shit and stuff, let us know what you think and tell us. Otherwise, we're, we're just, just going to keep, keep doing, doing it if you don't like it. And, you know, that's, that's just, just the, the way, way that American politics works. works. So, voice your opinions. Vote for Jilly. <laughs> Vote for Jilly, county board. Or for president, president, if you want. I'm not. That's not the campaign that I'm on. But as long as you yeah. write her in for somewhere, it's good. <laughs> She'll. She will, will appreciate, appreciate it. She needs your help. <laughs> for something. Something. <laughs> Doesn't know what she. She's not picky. <laughs> <laughs> you know she's open to life. So, so Wes, Wes, I originally wanted this podcast to be maybe an hour long, maybe 45 minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't. I had too much shit that I wanted to talk about. I fucked up. Uh, I mean, we all make mistakes. Not Jilly. That's right. <laughs> Except for, I don't know, maybe the Casper thing. <laughs> yeah, that was our bad. We can't, we can't take the blame for that. I don't know, we might have cost her the, the county <laughs> board seat. I sure hope not. I won't, I won't be, be able to sleep at night. The county is right. sure going to go hell. Let, 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 let's, let's wrap, wrap this up. up. What are what are our highlights that that, that, that we need to discuss? Um, you know, Mario and Luigi, they get it on pretty freaky. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Jill Stein and Serving Pleasure Podcast condemns the world wars. We do. Uh, Gak is back. Gak. <laughs> He is back. The king of Gak. Jack Black is sexy unless there's slime on him. Mm hmm And uh, we're going to do, hopefully, more improvised stories. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll talk, talk about, about it. it. Fuck, I had something I, had something I was, was going to say. say. God, God damn it. it. Uh, uh, remember, remember to uh, write us some fan fiction with the hashtag Kestbunkle. Let us know what you think of our improvised uh, fan fiction, and we will see you next time. Spooky! Bye! <laughs> Mario, I'm coming. <laughs>